this video, I am going to show you how to properly use the auto digitize feature. The auto digitize feature is just a tool to get you started with a design. It is in no way a one stop click to create a digitized file. There will be edits that need to be made. So I'm going to give you an example here. Let's click on the auto digitize key and I'm going to select uh, some fun design uh, we have here. Okay, let's do this hibiscus. So this is a JPEG. It does not have a background to it. Um, it's uh, just the uh, kind of checkerboard pattern. The auto digitize feature works best when you have a high resolution image with uh, simple flat colors. Um, gradient can sometimes work. We will show you another example um, a little bit later on. I'm going to click open and then I need to click next. I want it to be auto, not cross stitch and not artwork. So we'll click next. Here it gives me my size. You can resize it here or you can resize it after it is digitized. We'll click next. In this page, it is showing me all of the colors in the design. Most of the time it will exclude the white as the white is usually the background color. In this case, I don't have any white in the actual design, so that's great. I did notice that it picked up the gray checkerboard pattern in the back. So I don't need that. I'm going to deselect the gray and everything else looks good. I'll click finish and it will load. You can see at the bottom of your screen, the progress it does take it just a couple seconds to load. Okay, so we have our file here. I'm okay with this size, so I can click apply or just click onto your screen. I always prefer to use the 3D realistic view. And here I can see that the program, it gave a different stitch type to some of these sections. We have a fill stitch, fill stitch here, and uh, these leaves have a satin stitch. So this is where the editing is going to come into play. Now with Chroma, plus or Lux, you have the convert to option. The convert to option works in this way. I can select each shape, so I can select all of them at the same time, and we will right click and convert it. So let's convert them to a complex fill, and now they match these other leaves. If I wanted these actually to stay a satin stitch, I can then just select the other leaves here and convert it to satin. So it depends on what look you want to go for. Now, if I'm using Chroma Inspire, you do not have the convert to option. So this is where you would have to do some redrawing and uh, re-digitizing uh, from scratch. So at times the auto digitize feature is really creating the same amount of work as if you started from the beginning. So uh, most of the time I do like to use the backdrop tool when I make designs, especially if you are using Inspire. That way you can designate the stitch type to each section uh, from the beginning. So if you're using Plus or Lux, we can uh, convert these sections. Let's say I want the entire design to be a fill stitch. I can select everything and convert to complex fill. The other thing I do want to look at is if I zoom in, 
I can see a couple of rogue stitches down here. So let's select this shape and let's look at our stitch tool. Now it seems like these might be jump stitches. So the, the machine is jumping from one section to another. Um, I really don't need these in here and so that would be something that I would need to edit out. Um, so again, there is a lot of editing that needs to go into the auto digitize feature. Um, now let's say I want to check on my inclinations and the inclination is the direction of your stitch. So on this shape here, we can see the direction of stitches go a little bit diagonally. Um, that looks good to me. I'll, I'll keep it this way. It's the same here and it matches here as well. Uh, if maybe on this smaller leaf, I wanted to change it to more of a side to side look, you can edit your inclinations by uh, dragging the yellow line uh, to a different direction. Another thing that we might want to edit is the density. And the density here, it will usually set it at an automatic 0.5 or in this case it went to a 0.4. We can see that here on our right hand side menu. I want it to be a little bit thicker here so I can lower it, let's say 0.2, depending on the look I'm going for, depending on the material, the size, um, and that looks better to me. So I would then go and um, select all of the shapes or I could really select the entire uh, design since it is all a complex fill stitch and I can edit that there. So um, another thing here, we can see we have another kind of random rogue stitch here. I don't need that. This here, don't need that. There is a lot of uh, upkeep that we need to do. This looks okay. All right. So that is the auto digitize feature. Uh, you can certainly move shapes around uh, if you need. So if you want to kind of uh, reposition, that can be done easily. If uh, you want to change the stitch type, again, if you are using the plus or lux, we can say make this a satin stitch. That looks a little bit better maybe. And you can also change the colors and the colors are just down here on your toolbar. Select the uh, section and then just right click on the color. Um, to print out the run sheet, um, now this is in no way complete, but just to uh, go forward, you're going to go to file, print preview, and there you will see your run sheet. And you can click through each section. It does show you um, all of the segments here. Another uh, thing to look out for, since I did have these uh, very small areas of uh, stitch right here where I deleted them, you can see that in the run sheet. So let's say down here, have a section that's you know just 24 stitches I might not need this in the design it might be best to kind of take out some of these small areas that way uh, you're not uh, wasting time and you can keep your design running efficiently I can see here I have a little section that doesn't really make sense to me to have this here and so I'll delete it okay so that is the auto digitize feature. Uh, we will have another video coming up next to show you a different example of how to use the auto digitize option.